In this question, we're given this mirror line that runs up and down the page, and we're given this shape. And we're asked to reflect this shape in this mirror line onto this side. Now, it's not as difficult as it looks. What we need to do is start at this corner or this vertex and count how many squares it is to the mirror line. So if I look, one. Now what you do is if you've jumped one square to the mirror line, you have to jump one square back out. So I have to jump one more square there. So this point and this point are the same. Now let's look at this vertex or corner. So how many squares do I need to jump from there to the mirror line? So let's have a look. One, two, three, four. So what I do now, I jump four squares away from the mirror line. So one, two, three, four. So this point here, or this corner, has reflected onto this side here. Now let's do the same thing for this vertex or corner. So there's one, two, three, four jumps from there to the mirror line. So I have to now do four jumps back out. One, two, three, four. So this point here, reflected in this mirror line, ends up here. Now let's do this fourth vertex or point. So from here, I jump one, two squares to the mirror line. So now from there, I have to jump two. One, two. So I end up here. So this point or this vertex is reflected over here. And there's one more point or vertex that we need to reflect. And that's that there. So let's have a look. One, two, three jumps up to the mirror line. So now we do one, two, three jumps out. So that is our fifth point. Now I simply join all these up. But remember, they told us to use a, a ruler. So this blue shape reflected in this green mirror line looks like this orange shape.